Okay, should probably remember. that in. Okay, hello everybody and welcome to this stream of uh, Fallout 4 uh, Naked No Perks where I cannot have any apparel on my person or in my inventory. I cannot use any special perks. I cannot use any... Like I can't boost special stats what do you need, General? and so on. So... Hey. Mind if we swap some things around, Dogmi? I feel like I'm missing something that should be in the inventories. I guess those, and I guess I can get rid of those mod things. Yeah, so by, by the looks of it, it seems like um, yeah, it se seems like when I did my exit save over in Diamond City, it didn't actually do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up those, pick up those, um, nothing there, pick up that. Okay. Preston, over here quickly. Any day now. Need something? <clears throat> Is there something you need? Yes. I want to trade a few things. Of course. Okay. He has a single 45 round, he has Preston's penis. Now you need to have this. Boy, the hooks. Those. No mods. I think that's all good. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Problem. Okay. Next up, we're going to move you to Nordhagen Beach. We are also going to move you to Nordhagen Beach. Where is it? Sunshine, Tappington. Okay, it looks like that already is dog meat's home. Uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna head down to, to Diamond City, uh, bring some stuff to sell, like that, like that, like that, like that, uh, ammo, like that, and that. You probably sell these Milo Queen steaks for a pretty penny, but eh. these camps I should probably bring with me as well. Blood packs, buff out. Don't really need the daddy o. We'll bring that. Bring that. 
Very good. Blood, jet. Bring those. Bring the medics. Bring the mentats, I guess. Uh, that won't do anything for me. Psycho, psycho jet, psycho buff. Radex right away. One. Okay, everything else there is fine. Right. So first thing I gotta do is wait till I'm I guess wait till what time is it now? It's like should be close to Oh it is after that time anyway, so we're fine. Yes, yes. So, yeah, first thing is going to be selling all the sellables and then probably heading over to Eleonora to buy some 44 bullets. No, first thing will be getting my health filled up, actually. Soon, I'm dying. Right away. Hi. Right. Yeah. Tell me your sim. I think I soaked up some rat blood pooling in the. Okay. Dink, dink. Now I'll cure my infection before it kills me. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering? Mm -hmm. oh. Hurting all over, Doc. Severe lacerations, puncture wounds, muscle spasms in the eyes from high levels of stress. Yep. And he just stands there, but it still, still heals me up. Anything else bothering you? Nope. Okay. You. I've got a few minutes to browse. Self defense. Okay. Right. Now I have enough. Uh, Actually, I have a single great mentats. Might be a bit of a good idea. We'll see. Yeah, it's fine. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. You need protection. Everyone does. Let's see what you have. Self defense at. This just means I need to save 75 caps to get my addiction removed. Okay, 308, 38, fusion cells, shells, some of those, aid, uh, let's get those, ammo. 44, okay. And they sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Uh -huh. Let's see what you got. Here's what we got. Mm -hmm. Oh, she doesn't have any 44. Interesting. She's got that, but that's way more expensive than... Well, that was probably a waste of a um, romance. That's hey, Doc. We offer a wide variety of medicals. Yeah. Go over your sim. I've got an itch, Doc. Let's clean you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll have to see if, like, I can make it to. Eleanor before the uh, effect what wears out. 
I don't know exactly how long it lasts, but it's not that long. It generally wears off if I sleep for an hour, but... But it, it, it almost certainly doesn't last for a whole hour. Because one of the highest tier and rarest and hardest, hardest to get item, uh, aid items, the Mysterious Serum itself does last an hour. So relatively more common items like Great Mentats probably last less time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, there are lots of things I could be. Okay. Sounds like it was just only the one very dumb raider. It's a carrot. Probably shouldn't be pausing to look at every single carrot in the ground. Okay. So if I remember right, Eleonora's home is about this way. Yes, right over here. Okay. Hey, scaver. Let's trade. Yes. Let's see what you got. Okay. Let's sell those weapons. A Molotov. Aid. Nothing here to sell, misc, ammo, okay let's buy as much of that as possible, which is all of it. Okay. So I guess the Great Mentor has turned to be fairly good after all. Okay, next thing will be to sleep in that bed close by to... Uh, close by to the Dom City area. And then from there we'll run back to Nordheim Beach. Which actually is more in the yeah to get to Northampton, which I have to go via Hangers Alley actually. Okay. So now I am probably as as well off as I can be for um, as well off as well off as I can be for show no mercy. Now granted I don't know if I'll be able to do that well. Oh fuck. Well, what the fuck?
compressions in there. Tell easily. Seems like I haven't gone so so far enough to get them to move in there to their new homes. Which, all things considered, is actually probably good. And the Voltaic Rep is carrying a... Ooh, Stingwing meat. Yes, that would be correct, Preston. Now, who was up here that got killed? Ah, yes, this guy. Okay. Okay. I sent you over to Nordhagen Beach, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. I guess when I do it via the menu, it I have to they stay here until okay. So with that out of the way, uh, next thing will be to head over to North Hagen Beach, which will probably involve, oops, okay, I'm safe, it'll probably involve heading straight there via the uh, what's it? The, the <coughs> sleeping bag by uh, Bunker Hill. Ooh. Why are they hostile now? Simon initiates the missionary is hostile. Okay, well, that's fine. You know what? All that time I spent trying to do the cabot quest, I just realised that I wouldn't have been able to do do it with the challenge rules because there's like an advanced lock over there, which you need. Um, okay, everybody here is dead. Nice and bullets. Whew. Hey, friend Ada. Let's see. Ooh, a stim pack. Okay, where are. Oh, here we go. Okay. How's things going for you? Uh. 
so far I haven't done anything that spectacular in the stream. I've basically just uh, gotten bullets for my second gun, uh, which is this one. Which is basically my sniper thing. Oh, I'm going pretty well. Let's see, one hour. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so the 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 end goal for any challenge I do is just thanks for the host terminator uh, the, the end goal is just to finish the game uh, with any ending Institute, Minuteman, Brotherhood, Railroad either of the four um, in between here and there uh, the main thing I want to achieve is to complete the quest Show No Mercy because that will unlock an item called the Vertebrate Signal Grenades which allow me to travel from place to place a lot, a lot quicker and will in turn make the Glowing Sea about four times easier. And that is no exaggeration, it will literally make the Glowing Sea four times easier. I hear gunshots. Oh, it's just, it's just art. Again. <clears throat> the cannon. If you mean the broadsider, then not really. Um... If you mean the artillery smoke grenades, I've already unlocked those and made, and made a lot of use out of them. Which reminds me, I should have picked those up from England's Alley, but yeah, it's a little late for that. Well, I mean, it's probably not the worst, you know, for as quote unquote common the ammunition is for it. From what I've heard, the uh, syringe is a lot worse in this game. And that's because... Oh, yeah, I was going to sleep. Okay. And that's because... <clears throat> yeah. Um, the syringe is basically like a dart gun. But you have to craft all of the syringe ammo yourself. And the syringe ammo takes a fair bit of resources to make. I don't know if I'll be able to show it off at Nordhaven Beach, but I'll... I, th I think there's a chem station over there. Paladin Dance. Okay. Yeah, here, here it is. Okay. No worries. Uh, let's see. Yeah, syringe ammo. 
So the basic syringe, the one that's easiest to to make, costs one fiberglass, one oil, and one steel. And the steel is probably easy enough to get, but then the oil and the fiberglass is would be a lot harder to get. Yeah, the benefit is that it does. Yeah, it's fairly uncommon, and the shipments of it cost a fair bit, I think. So, if you were to do a syringe only run, you would pretty much be going from place to place, buying up as much syringe ammo as possible, while trying to build as massive a water farm as possible. Um, and then the only other one which deals damage is this one which uses an incredibly rare item called the Red Scorpion Stinger and does 10 extra damage. Yeah. Also, where is everybody else? Isn't there supposed to be people here? Well, I guess I'll nap here in the meantime. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, let's see what he has. What's our next move? Paladin dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? No, let's trade. I just want to trade a few things. Very well. Help yourself. Okay, he just has the fat man. If we want to win the people's hearts and minds, we have to spread the word. Okay, so sounds like Preston. No, there's five people here. Yes, that means that Preston must count as a person here despite not physically being present at the moment. Uh, containers, let's build a. Build a toolbox up here. Can I get that from here? Yes, okay. Let's put that in there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know where everybody else is at the moment. Perhaps if I build some more beds, they'll come by. Like maybe Preston doesn't come by yet because there's isn't a bed for him yet. So I guess I'll build one of these. Let's get some steel off these guys. Let's see. There's a good amount of steel over here. On the tractor. Okay. Now just go over there. Okay. Floors, walls, roofs, furniture beds. That's what I'm looking for. I need steel and I need cloth. Well, I don't think there's much cloth in here. The shining mean. Damn it, I don't think there's any cloth here. Oh, 
Oh well. Uh, I have not. I don't think so. I think the only thing that I've seen with yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just nap here. Maybe it'll just take time before present spawns in, I guess. Good thing. Okay. Give me those, give me those. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay. Yeah, the main thing that I've seen to do with Press and Garvey is a phenomenon called Let's put those in there. It's ammo. Guess I'll put those in there for producing weights as well. Okay. I don't have. So if Preston is over here, where's the doggo? Okay. I'll check it out after stream. Yeah, I guess I've got to build a doghouse. Let's see, furniture miscellaneous. Okay, my got decorations. Yeah, here we go, okay. Right. I'll put in a full night's sleep and then I'll I'll either catch up with dog meat or I'll head on. <laughs> Insomnia. That's fine. I think you should stay on point. Seem to be right on okay. Settlements need to be in a web of uh, what's the thing? No worries, uh, that's not okay. So, dog meat will probably show up at some point. Uh, for now, let's head this way. So, what I'm walking to, in case you've, uh, you either haven't done this or you've forgotten, is a place called Fort Strong for a quest called Show No Mercy, where first I have to kill all the super mutants in the outside, then I have to kill um, the behemoth as well and I have to go inside kill everybody in there shit this is not good um, the biggest problem is actually nothing to do with the damage these enemies do but rather to do with the fact that they just constantly respawn. Nice. So 
So if I can get some good headshots on them, that'll be really good. It doesn't help that it's fairly foggy right now, but it'll probably clear up at some point. Probably. there is the behemoth. Okay, if he walks over here, I might be able to get him. Uh, no, there's no DLC over here on this game. In installed for me right now. Uh, this is just base game stuff. Uh, this is required if you're doing the Brotherhood ending. Yes. Pop them right in the back of the head. Okay. And also the reason why I'm using this gun as a sniper is firstly it does yeah it it, it does more damage than the regular sniper rifles I have access to but also it's a lot lighter okay it looks like the fog might be clearing up which is going to help me a lot more I don't know what the fuck that guy is doing over there. Actually, this is might be not so much a bad thing. Fuck. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna run back a bit more. saw me. I'm going to run a bit more. Run you idiots. My character is unusually hesitant to run. This is not good. Something's out there. Yes, yeah, something is out there. Okay. Let's take one of these. Shit.
Plus the benefit to having Preston over here is that he currently has the spray and pray equipped. Which means that should uh, should an enemy actually follow me all the way Oh, what luck. Okay. Shit. Time to run. Yes, yes. Not very good RNG that I'm getting right now. But that's okay, because one more shot and this guy is dead. In fact, I can just use this. There we go. No need to waste the 44 bullets on him. Yoink. Right. I don't know if that was the second super mutant from over here. No, there's another one. And there's a fucking fourth one. Yay. <clears throat> Although, to be honest, I'd say that the AI in this game It seems to be exploitable enough uh, that okay I don't know what dog meat is doing that's a concern oh the storm is over I think Yes, okay. In that case, I guess I will keep on going. The main issue that I have with the game is that there's cases like this where where the game just spontaneously spawns enemies out of thin air. And for one thing that sort of... that probably ruins like the last option you have Oof, yes. The fact that it constantly respawns enemies uh, ruins uh, what, I, what is probably the last yeah 
Well, I actually, I actually haven't played Skyrim, so myself, I don't have a grasp on grasp on the AI on the difference in AI. It's just that the thing is, is that at the very least. Normally you always have the fallback option of attrition. Right? Whew. Right, you can basically try to wear your enemy fin and basically accumulate more resources and then defeat your enemy through sheer patience. Right, and, and in this case, ideally, my resources would be things like uh, the mattress over there, any beds in Nordhagen Beach, like the, any water pumps there, um, that sort of thing. And it makes sense that I will be able to use those resources to wear this area thin, especially compared to other areas like Fort Hagen, Revere, Okay, what if I use this one? Okay. There we go. Time to run. Like, tip, like... It'd be more understandable if you were dealing with synths. Because Yeah. Oh shit is over here. <whistles> nice. should be able to just use this gun for the rest of it. Ow! Okay, I'm still in caution. Well, I gotta still run a bit more. Okay. Yes, yeah, so as, as I was saying, with synths in areas like um, yeah, in areas like Fort Hagen, it would make sense if, to some extent, they did infinitely spawn because the institute itself. Ooh, nice. Uh, the Institute itself is capable of teleporting in synths, but that's the only faction and the only the only type of enemy which for which that is possible. Which 
Whereas... Oh, fuck. Is it just me or are these guys getting tougher? Fuck. Okay, so for example, over long enough time spans of like, I guess, weeks or months, probably weeks, I can understand that a Raider base or a Gunner base or a Super Mutant base would be able to recruit more people. Right, that, that, it makes sense that it's a thing they can, they can do. Sort of, yes and no. Uh, so there's from what I've seen, there's two things that can cause them to respawn. There's sleeping for too long or possibly sleeping at all in North Hagen Beach. Okay, and then there's travelling a little bit further, say over to Boston Airport or over to somewhere else. Another one? Shit. Yeah, so the first time you try to clear out this area, there's like seven to ten and like regular super mutants here. And it seems like there's about that many this time. Now granted I did go all the way from over there to um, all the way down to Hangman's Alley and to sort that place out. And at least with that it makes sense. Ish. Right, with, with the time it takes to walk that distance, they could have recruited more enemies, more people. I don't think I killed that one super mutant, but I am one, uh, as well. I don't know where he is, which is also a little concerning.
Oh no, I killed them. Okay, so there's one more submutant somewhere over here. Maybe. And there's the behemoth as well. Yeah. I don't think super mutants actually turn people into more super mutants. Okay, what the fuck? I thought there was a super mutant over this way. I don't see any subunits over this way. Let's check this little area. Yeah, I think there must have actually been a uh, visual glitch. Yeah, okay. So basically, super mutants. Oh, right. Uh, the super mutant breeding theory. Yeah, that's the behemoth. I think. I'm pretty sure there's no regular super mutants left. I think the one guy I saw when I killed that super mutant must have been a visual glitch. Actually, you know what, I better put that on. Because at least this way I'll be able to see the behemoth, which is somewhere over there. Okay. So the reason why I brought Preston and uh, Dance and the other the other ones along over to North Hagen Beach isn't just because there's um it's not just because they can attack any enemies that follow me all the way over to Nordhagen Beach which does happen that's happened to me twice so far playing this game okay I think we have a case of a mysterious vanishing dog but that's okay. Oh. Put those away, put that away, put that away. Put that away, that away, that away. Fat man, and then I need one one eight one oh eight. Okay. So I can carry you one fat man. And one mini nuke. Good. I 
I'm pretty sure this mattress is a little, since it's a little closer, I should have put that decanter away as well. Oh well. So now that I've saved there, I've killed all these enemies. Um, okay. Let's see if I can kill the behemoth. And naturally, that vanishing super mutant spawns, of course. Yeah, so it turns out he was actually there. He was just hiding. Kill that two mutants and then make sure there's none others around there. <sighs> oh, and by the way, I uh, another possibility that can be done with this mission, which I, which given my circumstances, I can't do is that normally there's a vertebrate over there and if you ride the vertebrate it takes you over it takes you over here where you can shoot all or most of these yeah now there's two guys which weren't there before Yes, yes. You're mad at the puny human. And the thing is, I don't know if they've respawned or if they're just super mutants that were hiding. But given that before I fairly thoroughly checked everywhere where the behemoth wasn't, and there wasn't a super mutant, Seems likely that these guys did actually respawn. Yes. Okay, that distance might have been too far for a shot.
Yes, okay. Right in the face. Then we have the other one left. Now one thing I should probably test one day with a stronger character uh, probably in my fist only playthrough will be whether or not I can actually skip killing these guys and just go around them and then head inside and kill everybody inside. It probably doesn't work but Maybe it does. Uh, Super Mutant, Mr. Mutant, there's Behemoth, right through the windows. There's the other guy, okay. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Okay. Okay, one more good headshot should be enough. Seems like that aggroed the behemoth as well. Because that, that outdoor pip on the compass is showing me where the behemoth is. Because the part of this quest that says... I'll actually go on this one. Where the hell did you come from? What the fuck? Yeah, this game is definitely respawning enemies much, much quicker than it's supposed to. And it seems to be the only area which I which I ever have this level of difficulty with respawning enemies, because now there's an enemy over there and Where's the other guy? Ok, 
Okay, I guess I've got to headshot this guy. Again. Of the seal here, so it doesn't seem to be a case of despawning corpses respawns the super mutants. shoot that guy till this guy's dead or nearly dead. Oh, I guess that's the only guy there for now. Oh no, he's back. Okay. Where is he? Oof, yes. And the thing is that now that I'm tired, I can't actually do anything about it because if I sleep, you know what? Fuck off. Once again, we just have the last super mutants. I think we'll be shooting the last super mutants for quite a while. Okay. Okay, the behemoth is turning around by the looks of it. Yep. Maybe not. Now one thing I did think would help with this area was the actual artillery smoke grenades. Actually, I wonder if I could use the flare gun. Huh. Just shoot a flare gun over here, spawn some Minutemen and get them to do it for me. Fuck. 
There we go. Nope, there's still more super mutants. Still more super mutants. And I know that because the behemoth doesn't shoot. It just whacks me very, very hard and throws rocks. Is that the behemoth over there? Yeah. I wonder. Run, you idiots! Okay, now is the time we do all the drugs. shall see if I have this. So I've got to chase all the way over here. Okay. Properly fed. Where's Preston? There you are. Do you have... Is there something you need? I want to trade a few things. Whatever you need, General. Yeah, Preston does not have a flare gun. There's anything else you need? No, nothing. Okay. <clears throat> right, so for future playthroughs, um, having the flare gun and not selling it is probably a good idea for situations like this. Nice. <clears throat> How much adrenaline do I have anyway? Zero. Okay, that must have just been a week's of mutants.
Hmm. So now I don't see anybody else, so let's do what we did once before and um, Let's put these guns away and get the fat man in my nuke. Weapons, put that away, that away. Let's get that and that. Okay. And then let's put one hour into this bed over here. Which is supposed to be close enough to prevent respawning. Weakness, that'll have to be fine. I know I'm tired. I just saved there, so that means I should be able to get this behemoth with a good shot. Unless. Nope, that guy just spawned out of nowhere. Again. And not only that, but this behemoth is fully healed. But let's see. Torso. Now I have to run and hope that I don't get murdered by somebody. Yes, yes. Okay, now I'm hidden. Okay. You played the Destiny 2 beta and you were like, this is the same game. Yeah. <clears throat> I can see that being the case. So there's the other mini nuke. Should have delayed it by two years. Yeah. Yes, that tends to be the case fairly often. You're not sold on the game. Yeah, well, I think when the first Destiny came out, I tried to watch some of a playthrough, and it just. I think some of the premise was interesting. But okay, let's head over here. Just 
this guy is still over there. Right. Run, 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 run. Okay. That's good to hear, at least. Yeah, the game that I've currently been casual playing is... Okay, let's pick up that, that, those, that, that. Let's put this away. Let's pick up those. Because why not? Right. <clears throat> now the rest of this I'll have to do without saving because you might have noticed that I took a few pot shots at the behemoth and they landed and then I saved and then when I came back he was fully healed in fact um, yeah Yeah, there is a issue I have. Right, let's just pause for a moment. Okay. But it is critical that I be extra cautious here because I don't think saving is much of an option. I'm really hoping that the... Uh, where the fuck did that guy come from? You have a friend just like you when he gets focused on something else, yeah, everything else is irrelevant. Let's also equip the grenades. Okay, but the Hamath is still damaged. That's really good. That is really good.
Okay. I shouldn't be doing that too often. Because I only have a small amount of... Well, I don't think I have any. Let's see. Yeah, so I, I have nothing on my person that I can use to reduce radiation that I have. a bit further than I was expecting. I wonder if hiding under the bridge would be a good spot. That might actually be the case. Possibly. Well, specifically this, damn it, uh, specifically this, not really. Uh, this is actually something that I'm finding to be pretty annoying. But this is something that will be very necessary for future parts of this playthrough. Um, run, you idiots! Well, I aggroed the behemoth. Perhaps, but... Whew, finally. Yep. 
Yeah, there's Behemoth. Game has probably decided to be a dick and spawn some more super mutants. But one, one thing that prevents streamers my size from... Shit. Uh, from... Okay. Yeah. <sighs> and now it's becoming daytime. Hopefully the behemoth hasn't decided to heal, which he hasn't, that's good. Okay. Three, two, one. I don't know if I'm just pissing off the behemoth or if I'm actually doing damage. Well, it's smart that you don't plan on going to college. Um, it's probably still better, uh, better for you if you still better for you if you at the very least pass now if you pass high school Okay. You missed the... Oh, yes, the thing that would make you wait on the spot. Yeah. Okay. Come on. I nearly got you, fucker.
Yes! Fucking finally. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I agree entirely. Oh, fusion core. <laughs> Just make sure I didn't pick up. Okay. So now I have killed the behemoth. Okay, you can go in there, you can go in there, in fact, I won't be using that anymore in this area, probably, no, I'll keep those. Okay. Fusion core. Oh, okay. Now, saving here might cause some more super mutants to spawn, but since I've cleared the outside, that shouldn't stand in the way of me completing the quest. I probably fared one of those and then two of those. Okay. Honestly, oh my god, there's another behemoth! <laughs> wow. I killed the behemoth, but apparently there's still a behemoth. Wow. Okay. Welp, if you ever want infinitely, infinitely many behemoths, that's how you do it. Sneak through down here. Which 
I don't seem to be able to do so. Hop. Now I guess I'll just have to clear, clear a path. You piece of shit. Probably more to be than but if I sneak around, I might just be able to get to the door. Go. Whew, okay. Yeah. Now, with, with my experience going to university, um, as much as I learnt. A fair bit that would have been useful to me anyway, um, such as uh, the, man the, the management units and the programming units. I for what? Oh, bottles. For one thing, ooh, okay. I didn't know there was bullets over here, but that's good. For one thing, I don't think that was worth the, how much was it? It was four times two times four times thousand about. Yeah, so it was about 32,000 that was spent. So that, that's like average amounts of... <clears throat> average amounts of funds spent for university education. And I am extremely fortunate that I was able to get to like bring up that much money from just having it. I was able to pay it up front rather than having to get a loan.
Okay, I better... Now hopefully if I leave, even though it'll be a long loading screen, I can just run away. Okay. So the enemies inside shouldn't respawn. And I say shouldn't because given how it handles the outside, it might decide that there's some hidden subutants plant in here that just constantly spores out more subutants. But maybe if I Maybe if I use this gun, it'll be better. Okay, yeah, I can... Most super mutants in this area I can shoot quickly enough. Just spam R2 because I have 400 bullets. Okay. I'll actually. Oh, fuck, that was close. Right. And this gun will be actually beneficial because it's silence and so everybody in there will be a lot easier to take out. Plus there's only like a handful of enemies in here. Is that guy? I don't know if he's the same guy as is trotting around over there. He might be though. Oh yes, this is really good. Yes, <clears throat> this is so good. This is very dangerous, but let's... Okay.
Time to run. I say time to run. <coughs> okay. Once I've cleared out everybody on the top level, I am basically good to go. Okay. Right. Because once everybody is cleared out, there's beds up here that I can use to sleep in. Although I should probably check if I can get there from... Shoot him! Quickly! Now! Run away! Okay. Yeah, this doesn't get me anyway good. Maybe nah. Okay. Nobody popped in over there. Go through here. Yeah, we got some good beds over here as well as some other goodies. Um, oh, cap stash. Nice, I ran away. Okay, can I sleep in here? Got this one. What about this one? What about this one? What about this one? Okay, I guess I can only sleep in these ones for the time being. I think? Yes, okay. Sweet. I think it was that guy that was stopping me from sleeping in that good bed. Yes. 
Okay. What's this? What's that? Oops, fuck. No, I don't want that one or that one, which is... the wrong button. Did I pick that up? Whew. Okay. Got some whiskey. Let's make sure that's still there. Okay. if I do. Okay, get the screw. Okay. So I reckon having found these beds uh, it's made this section of the game a ton easier. Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, my university experience. Um, okay. Who's just bites? Okay, right. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so for, for one thing, I don't think that what I learnt or what I experienced was worth losing $32,000 for. And for another thing, despite having decently good grades, I think I average about 75% in terms of marks. Um, oh yes, Radix. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, so, so despite averaging about 75%, um, sure, don't mind me, I'm just going to take some toilet water. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so despite having grades on the scale, on the order of 75%, um, my university has a thing, which I don't know how common it is in the US. I don't know how common it is across other universities, but... Oh, waste my time. 
but what my university does is that uh, in order to graduate okay I'll just over here damn it where are you going you're going over there okay there we go Okay. Whew. Yeah, so what my university does is that in order to graduate, it's not enough to Yeah, it's not enough to just get like 50% or 75% or some percent but my university mandates that students get a certain amount of work experience which basically means do an internship um, in itself that's not We've only got a few enemies left. Nearly got him. Whew. Okay. But yeah, so the idea of having to get an internship to graduate. In itself doesn't sound fuck. Might be time to head back. <laughs> head back and save. So, okay, so in, in itself, in itself, the idea of having to get an internship isn't necessarily a bad idea, so long as well, there's basically. There's basically two criteria that would make the idea of having to get an internship to graduate um, acceptable. Right? The first thing is it would have to be guaranteed. So um, or at least you know, okay, so at, at the very least, the placement itself should be guaranteed. Even if 
you have to perform at some level in order to have that internship qualify in order to, to graduate. Yeah, you have to to do it has to be guaranteed, right? And then the second thing is is that it has to cost you at least no, it has to cost you at most zero, right? So. Basically, that means that you can't be paying whichever business or corporation or whatever X amount of money in order to graduate. Okay. Yes, this guy is over here. And so while we here don't Okay. So while students at my uni don't have to don't generally have to pay anything to do their internship or whichever internship um, okay it also isn't like guaranteed so basically Okay then. Okay, there's one more, I think. Oh. Okay. I guess I did it. Okay, radioactive gland, sure. Some of those. Damn it. Okay, I'll drop the microscope. Right. Well, that's where the missile guy was. I must have already got him. You got these mini nukes, which can stay there. Yes, there's two mini nukes, but. I don't need them.
so yeah, as I was saying, um, handy boy apples. Isn't there a self boy in here somewhere? Whoops, I'm psycho. Yes, as I was saying, um, oh, hello. Basically, the way that the university handles handles students getting their getting their work experiences that they just say well it's well up to you now it, like we're not going to allow you to graduate unless you get a um, okay, let's talk to him you must hate these mutants as much as I do after sieging this place for a few days. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example. I've been fighting for you. I've seen what these supermen do. Can you imagine what the synths would do if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon. And maybe the end of everything we hold dear. Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Makes sense. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxim. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Whew. I'm going to stand up for a bit now. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, it's through here. Now, the thing with that whole internship thing that I was talking about is that I guess some people might argue that um, Yeah, some people might argue that since the workplace is um, you know, it's all about like having you know, the what's the term? might be called the bootstraps paradox or some some paradox you know where you need where you need something to have something right and so ha forcing students to get X amount of work experience um could in some people's minds make sense in terms of okay so all our graduates will guaranteed have X amount of work experience and so 
they'll all be highly employed or employable or whatever. Right? But the thing is that let's say I think I should move these guys back to Hangman's Alley actually. Hangman's Alley. Hangman's Alley. Now where's the doggo? The little doggy. Settler. Settler. Okay. No, you just carry these. Very well. Help yourself. Okay. You take that. Take that. Take those. That and that. Take those and those and those and those and those. And that and that and that. And those. Okay, now let's have a nap here. Are you supposed to be? Yes, okay. Right. Okay. So the thing is, is that, let's say, okay, well actually, the first thing to say is that even if only one particular university forces their students to do that, um, The, all of the businesses and corporations and everything else if there's no agreements between them and the university they don't actually have to um, they don't actually have to do anything towards having internships or they, or they can have because Internships, you know, have, you know, have providing X amount of internship opportunities uh, creates a very small amount of risk and uses a small amount of resources. Uh, most most businesses and corporations are just going to refuse to do it. Right? And, that, and that's the that's the first hurdle with the logic behind forcing students to get X amount of work experience is that Fort Strong, soldier. For the Brotherhood! It was an honour fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. In order to bring the institute I try to supply my signal grenades. Can call up, mm -hmm. simply throw one to the once you're aboard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make good use of them. I expected you would. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong is simply the first step towards the lit and even greater by now. I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy being recorded by, according to us, the moment this in 
the institute to accomplish this. Mm -hmm. I've had our scrap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything you need, Elvis. You just say the word. I want you to get out of there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the institute before. We... If you discover a way in, mm -hmm. any questions, Knight? <coughs> Not right now, Elder. Very well then. Dismissed. Whew. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I should be fine to just head straight back down. So that's the first thing is that corporations will tend to not do that. And the, the only reason why any corporation or group of corporations would bother to have a massive explosion of um, of internships is if they were struggling <clears throat> is if they were struggling to fill their roles, right? Whichever roles in that corporation. And through my experience trying to faff around with various corporations both this year and two years ago, uh, that's is not the case. It seems to me like there is a massive level just put one hour in. Fatigue. You know they'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, so there, there's like a, a massive level of oversaturation and a massive imbalance with regards to the amount of open positions and the amount of um, graduating engineers, right? And so, <clears throat> now that there's a lot less, not, not only are there a lot less actual employment positions than graduates, but there's also a lot less um, internship opportunities than undergraduates. You know, what this tends to do is this tends to make uh, undergrads very desperate, right? Because because they basically have a very massive investment, something on the between. Well, let, let's say it's about what I have, thirty-two thousand. Um, now again, I have actually accrued extra costs than those 32,000 that have occurred as a byproduct of going to university. So, for example, uh, there's food that I have there, and there's fuel costs as well. Um, and so I don't know how much that adds up further but it probably is quite a bit um, and so students like me with potentially a lot of money riding 
on whether or not they can woo some corporations like them enough to allow them to graduate. That's going to make them very desperate. And so... And so that desperation, just like the desperation for actual employment, gives gives employers and corporations a massive op- o- opening for exploitation. Right now, I don't know how much goes on, uh, how much of that specific. Uh, where um okay so there's nobody over there ow don't kill me please thank you thanks for not killing me okay Yeah, so I I don't know how long ago this was. This might have, might have been last year. But I heard of some law firm over in Adelaide which thought that it would be a funny idea um, to actually have an, some internship Oh, dog meat is still here. Did I not send? Well, I guess it is bound to this location forever. I guess. Oh. Put out ales in here. And so, as much as, again, I haven't heard of this being a case over here in Perth and over in the engineering sector, but I would imagine that as as the ratio of engineering graduates to engineering positions increases, Uh, I reckon it might potentially, or well, might, but I, I reckon it's going to be possible that by the end of the, of the decade, if if not within um, actually, what time is it? Eight p.m. Yeah. Okay, let's see if the other people spawned in yet. So I reckon that very likely by the end of, at the end of the year we're going to start seeing more internships and positions that require actual payment to do them, as opposed to the person doing the work being paid. The person doing the work has to pay to do the work. Right. Okay. Well, I uh, I guess after sleep another twelve hours uh, to get to daylight. And that's that's basically would be brought on by corporate greed coupled with undergraduate desperation. And then that doesn't even account for what happens um, 
it doesn't account for what happens if by chance uh, or not by chance but by some eventual, uh, eventuality the majority of universities start forcing students to have X amount of hours of work experience to get to get their overpriced piece of paper um, and so if every Uh, yeah, if every um, graduate or if the majority of graduates have X amount of work experience, then that just becomes a new zero with regards to employment requirements. Right? So, you know, it, it, it's a common fact that it used to be that you could get a lot of jobs and a lot of work from high school and then as um, okay let's go to Dr. Sun radiation poisoning is a common ailment but we can kill okay kill me take a look at this now go over reds all right let's Hold on. Any other complaints? Got roughed up. Uh, I've seen worse. Done. Now. Was there anything else bothering you? Ten pints bluff are very unhappy. So there's zero food there. Okay. Oh, that's Hangman's Alley. Just Ten Pines Bluff. Oh yeah, they have zero food, zero water, zero defense. Oh well. Fuck him. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I gotta run back to Team Zelly to get, see if the people I sent there have arrived. But yeah, so then. What happened was, well, largely what happened was, was that the amount of applicants per job grew, whereas the number of jobs just stayed the same. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, and so as competition increases, the sort of bar that is held for the average position went from um, you know, it went bigger so it went from high school was zero to university was zero and now we're in some sort of a weird position where having having university isn't enough, but whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay then. 
Ah yes, people are here. Yes, Preston, they missed. Hey. Hey there. Is there something you need? Yes, oh, trade. trade a few things. Sure thing. Anything else? Oh, I gave everything to. No, nothing. All right. I gave everything to. Dance. Where is he? So three people here. So that's him, him, and Dance. Just that dance has vanished by the looks of it. Yes, Preston, I know. I know very much that I'm not wearing pants. Oh, dance is here. Well, dance is somewhere. I don't know where he is though. Dog meat, lead me to him. Oh, you're over there. I wonder if I can talk to you when you're over down here. Nope. He's stuck. Oh, I guess I won't be doing anything with those bits just now. Got 67 water. Right, so I better... get some resources for crossing long sea. I won't need those. I'll need those. Right away. That's not going to do that much for me. I think I'll just put the regular Nuka Cola away. I'll cook the food. One of those. Two of those. One of those. Okay. I probably need like four of these because once I'm in there I'll use one to head back out <clears throat> but I'll keep extras in case the one doesn't work That I won't need. Stimulant, antimicrobial.
don't really need those. Um, that'll be fine. All right. That's one ten. Max weight. Okay. So I'll nap in here and then I'll head down to head down to go and see. Let's see now where's location? Ah, oh, that's a lot better. Well, a bit better actually. So that's that, then that's that. Yeah, so I think it's about over here. I think that's about where the location is. In actual fact, I'll head via Diamond City. Okay. So yeah, basically, um, basically by forcing students to get internships for, for graduation, um, dog. Hello. Easy there, girl. I can fix you up. There. Yeah, this will make you feel better. Bad face. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, by starting off or by starting off or following the trend of forcing students to get Work experience, the university is basically basically at the, at the end of the day it's Okay. 
Take that. Bye. Okay, technical document, technical document. Let's see. Disengage lock. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think there was some 44 bullets in there, so let's put back like 20, okay. Structures, furniture, beds. Okay, let's nap here. Run or sprint swim, I guess. Shit. Okay. Now run. Okay, yeah, somewhere over there, there's a Raider. But I'm pretty close to my destination, which is right over here. Okay. So I was pretty close. Close enough. Okay. Need anything? Thank you. Let's see. Suffolk Country Charter School. Ah, oh, it's over there. Okay. Well. Actually, this is my next thing, but this is actually what I'm going to be doing tom not tomorrow. Next time I stream this game, which will probably be next Wednesday. So I'll have a nap here. So, thanks everybody for watching. I'll just check the saves, make sure that it is actually there. Come on. Yeah, okay. It's actually present. So yeah, I will see you then where I'll be going through the glowing sea. Alright, so let's see if there's anybody to post.
nobody feel like posting so yeah I'll just I'll just call it a day thanks for watching and the next stream will either be next Sunday or Tuesday depending on circumstances and it will be some more Final Fantasy 15 so yeah